longing for Very good. We're going to do it again another time, okay? One more time. Okay, you can do it one last time while I'm like. Because you feel lost, you don't know what to do, you wonder what is your purpose, your reason for being incarnated on earth at this moment. I cannot bring the food as for you.
reflection. longing for something else. It is because we are shared between what society put in our minds and our parents and whomever educates us and what we truly want from Because we think it is selfish to want something for us. We think we should obey to society's desires and not ours. Or that they should be the same. But we are unique beings and we are here. of our own as well. This is our life purpose, our life mission. And I propose to you to think about it. What do you really truly desire? Are you where you thought you'd be at this moment? Did you achieve the things that you Are you living your life for yourself? Or are you sacrificing? These are the questions that I propose if you want to ask yourself. Maybe even you can write it 
in a journal to remember in a few months what was the answers because you'll have changed as I plant the seeds of transformation today later on in months or years your life will be very different continue to watch the videos because they are all planting seeds of transformation for you so that one day when you need it they'll be there helping you make decisions that are good for you for you yes you deserve it you have to have it you have to learn and what is it that you came here to do okay good very good very good cleansing Starting with the root chakra, okay, which is at the tailbone, cleansing and clearing. Cleansing and clearing the root chakra. Cleansing and clearing the plexus, solar plexus. Follow your guts. Cleansing and clearing the heart chakra.
receive this Reiki healing today. It will help you to find a purpose. It will help you to answer this very deep longing that you have. It is okay to follow your heart. It is okay to do what you desire. Your mind is a tool to help you to realize what your heart desires. I'm going to close the chakras and after that we will do a tarot reading for life mission, life purpose. Trying to gather information on what's going on in your energy. read the energies that are around you in your consciousness or subconsciousness so we're going to do that right now and you will see there is three three piles you can choose from choose one pile intuitively and this is going to be your messages you can refer timestamps down below the video in order to go directly to your reading after you chose your pile okay so I'll see you at your reading and come back for the end portion the sleep portion at the end
Welcome to your readings. So these are the three piles, the lizard spirit, dream the world into being. The pile number two, two sorry, is the pig spirit, use your mind wisely. And the third one is the koi fish spirit, there is always enough. So please choose intuitively, take the time, pause the video if you need. This is pile one. Lizard, pile two, pig spirit, pile three, koi fish spirit. Choose and discover your reading where the messages that are for you are awaiting you. Hey, pile one, welcome to your reading. Here are the cards. The first one is hunger. Lizard spirit, dream the world into being. My dear pile one, this card, the hunger card, doesn't mean hunger for food, but it means hunger for realizing yourself. There is something inside of you who knows that you are made for something greater. And I don't know if you are at the stage where you can acknowledge it or not yet, but there is something in you that is longing, like it's more than longing, you are really um, at the surface of something. This yellow card, the yellow actually is a synonym of solar plexus and it has to do with power self-power, will, you know, hunger, you want, there are things in life that you so crave or want, and the energies are past, present and future, so you may still be in a sleeping state, you may or not be, you may or may not be, but inside of you there is this desire to realize yourself in this incarnation. So that's the first thing that spirit wants to tell you. You have it in you. You have the power to realize yourself in this lifetime if you wish to. This message is backed up by the lizard spirit which says to you to dream the world into being. It means that you are just have to realize the things that you are here to realize, the dreams that you have. Now you can take action with this card and this card you you can now is in the moment to Realize your dreams or your dream. Do you have something in mind? I'm sure you have. If you don't, don't worry because as we plant seeds of transformation in this channel, you will figure out. I will help you to think, to reflect. We have 8 plus 3, which is 11. And if you reduce it to 1 plus 1 equals 2, it means um, 
stability and maybe partnership maybe you dream to find a partner in a way or another whether it's love or it is for a, a, a dream that you have um, a business or anything like that but it also means that you need stability you may not have it at least quite the way you want it at the moment but that, that's what you you need that's what you want to find a form of stability and it is a great card to have here because it also reflects the three of pentacles here three it means collaboration three it means um, construction with others in partnership so it feels like in your purpose or your purpose of your life mission there's a form of working or collaborating with a person or more people there is a need and a desire to create something long term something solid and to create it with uh, people with whom you can build a solid relationship a solid foundation maybe not your family but it could be your chosen family your soulmates your people your light family spirit tells you that in your future you'll collaborate it will make you feel stable and happy pretty much like the king of cups here which is an energy of someone who is emotionally fulfilled and stable the king of cups looks very zen water and cups represent or I would say cups represent water and water represents emotions we can see that the water is quite flat it shows that this person which represents a you is going to be emotionally stable and fulfilled as you answer this hunger as you answer the realization of your dreams you can become this king of cups and i wish that for you it's an amazing beautiful energy to incarnate some of you there will be travel involved foreign countries you may collaborate with people abroad or far from where you are it may be the reason for your opening so my dear pal number one your future looks very bright if you wish to it is only for you to dream the world into being You are done dreaming you are here to fulfill and celebrate like the night of wands celebration the night of wands also means somehow moving moving away it could be abroad so it just tells you that some of you not all will fulfill their destiny by going away um, um, traveling in a way uh, or another it could also be by meeting people who are different also it could be you stay in your country but you may meet people that are very different and of maybe different culture or different ideas it will help you to grow expand the knight of wands is a very passionate energy enthusiastic it's fire Wands are represented by fire, 
for your expression. So, whatever you're going to achieve have has to do with your heart, with your with passion. The king of cups is emotions. The king, the knight of wands is passion, fire. You will take action. This is what it means also. You're going to, in your future, create the dream that you have or will have and you will make it happen. That's the desert spirit promise. And the knight of wands energy will help you for that. You'll be celebrating, you'll be wanting to feel alive and you will be happy surrounded by, by people that are like you. My dear pile number one, I hope that you've appreciated your reading. Please go back to the video now for the final slip um, portion of the video. Dear pile number two, Welcome to your own reading. Let's discover the cards. The first card is an emotion card. It is ideation. The tarot cards are the star. The ace of wands. The seven of swords and the animal spirit deck wants to show you the peak spirit. Use your mind wisely wisely. My dear pile number two. Very interesting reading. We've got ideation. Ideation card means that you're going to figure out something. You're going to have the idea or ideas that are going to click together. It's as if you're going to find the different pieces of a puzzle and we'll put it together. Even though that was not something that was supposed to to go together or you didn't think of it before that way. That's what I feel, and which is interesting because we also have the peak spirit, which says use your mind wisely. So you have your mind here that you want to use wisely, and you have here ideation, formation of ideas. So both those two cards are here to tell you that if you want to fulfill your destiny or go into the direction of your purpose you've got to think wisely not listen to any sort of thinking that you have because the seven of swords tells us that you may have some form of challenge or some form of um, um, conflict conflict your ideas maybe conflictual choices, maybe the conflicts are within you, not knowing how to or what to do, or maybe it's with other people. It has to do with ideas, it has to do with the mind. You need to, to find the idea, you need to shed the light on something. You also need to remove certain beliefs and opinions that you have that don't serve you and stop you because this card is red and the red is also the um, a symbol for warning um, it, you have in mind or let's say you have too many thoughts um, not the, the best thoughts I meant the more of, um, I don't know, invalidating thoughts, <laughs> self-sabotaging thoughts, in a way. Um, you have to shed them, to lift them, 
in the past um, you can have some beliefs that you have to um, remove uh, some form of uh, thinking or ideas that are not the right one they won't help you you have to shed the light on your mental health or whatever is not serving you here you see with the seven of swords um, to be less defensive about maybe you are someone who believe he or she is always right or something and unfortunately sometimes he can block us and we can't um, improve we cannot move forward because we are stuck with some form of ideas that are not uh, they are to be careful they are to to analyze and maybe get rid of so what we're seeing here is on one side your mind your thoughts your certain of your beliefs you have to remove them put them in the past then it will unblock and you will find the solution of the puzzle the ideas are going to come and flow and the big spirit tells you that you'll have to use your mind wisely and the ace of wands here as well as the star both tell you to instead of following your logic or the logic you think you have is to follow your intuition because the intuition is your guidance you see you follow the thread of your guidance the star is a beautiful amazing card it means really fulfillment on a at any level for you in the future if you want so it's only up to you you have to work on your thoughts they are not your friends some of them of course not all but some ideas you have about life maybe about what you are here for you may want to revise it you may want to work on on you on yourself to make uh, some introspection work and close your eyes and be guided by your own light your own guidance that is shining here instead of following people's ideas or society's ideas which is represented here you have to remove this to take your own um, path and shed the light on the fact that yes I'm not being my own person, I'm not being the expression of myself. And I have to to follow my intuition, what I really truly desire, instead of uh, anybody else's information. So much information, we are drawn into it. Point number two. Look, the star is a great card. Connect to your higher self, to your higher authority you'll be guided that's why this card is here it is uh, I think even the most positive card in the tarot and the ace of wands is um, wands represent fire and fire and passion and uh, you're going to have the impulse a great impulse to maybe integrate the fact that you don't have necessarily the right ideas at the moment in order to go where you'd be successful but it tells you it is within you the answer and the force and this power will uh, come will be ignited from within and when it's the case you see ignite it ignite it ignite it a lot of light you'll get the ideas together you'll get the ideas together and your mind will be your friend because you will use your mind as a tool to um, realize your desires what you've been guided for into being You'll be helped that's how you'll find a form of um, st 
stability between your mind and your heart. 7 plus 4 equals uh, 11. And uh, 11, if you uh, reduce it again, it's 2. 2 is kind of a number for the beginning of stability. Uh, it's also duality, it's also a decision. So, yes, you will have uh, decisions to make or choices to make between uh, probably the reality in which you live, the things you think you think you know, sorry, the things you think you know <laughs> that you've been taught basically, and the actual things that you know inside of you because this is not a, it's an inner knowing, um, it's your guidance, uh, kind of your GPS, you know, we come into this this incarnation with some form of uh, GPS or inner guidance and if we follow, we are actually moving towards what we are here for but because we are blocked because of the conditioning of society what we are put in our minds from the moment the start we, we are born until the end we think that's where we want to go, we think that we should, that's what we should do because that's the way it is we are told so, but the reality is we are like robots in autopilot and it's not where we want to go because we don't even know or take the time to sit and wondering who am I and what is it that I actually want here we are seeing you, there's beliefs and ideas that or people's opinions that you shouldn't follow they are not the right ones you have to close your eyes and go within and let yourself be guided and you'll get the ideas on how to um, or what to do to follow your uh, purpose or to be closer to it I hope that you enjoyed your reading my dear pile number two please go to the end of the video because there is a, a sleep um, relaxation to finish the, the video okay so my dear pile number three, it's your turn for your reading. So let's uncover the cards. The first card is an emotion card. It is space. This one is the tarot cards, or are the tarot cards nine of pentacles? You get the five of cups. You get the tower and the animal spirit deck is the koi fish spirit there's always enough okay it feels like with the space the space means can mean different things it can mean isolation feeling lonely or lost um, it could also mean uh, spirituality but usually it's uh, a card um, that says we feel lost or lonely we also have the koi fish which says to you there is always an also with the five of cups here which is look the cards of someone who is uh, seeing only what they've lost or what they don't have and see as there's something greater here but she can't see it because she is um, putting her putting herself into the lack or victim mode uh, it doesn't mean you don't have problems uh, definitely um, but it all it means that because of the way we focus on the negative things or the things that we've lost or we don't have enough of we don't see the opportunities so the space and the five of cups and also the koi fish says that your luck is coming and depends on how you see life do you want to see it like the glass half empty or half full and in order to see what is in there for you that comes from outside that comes from the universe or whatever force you think um, put us here um, you have to sort of 
remove your nose from the things that you don't have in order to see the, the beautiful things that you can have in life there is a big change for you, a big uh, probably shift in consciousness that you have to make in order to see life differently f than here the five um, the five is um, number four uh, struggle inner struggle usually but it could be outer struggle and it never means that you don't struggle you don't have problems it's just the fact that we don't want our issues our problems our pain to um, prevent us from finding happiness one day otherwise it's as if we give up on life until we, it's time for us to go and I, I don't want that for you the five means that you are struggling but it could be emotionally it could be with your thinking the way you see life I feel it has to do with the perception that you can have from life you can feel victim you can feel in depression you can feel not content you can feel you don't have enough you lack you have less than others you can feel bored for some of you uh, you can feel lonely because the space look you, you it's as if you don't see any way out so there is no it's all full black not even one dot you feel you feel um, stuck some of you, you feel stuck in your mind or in a situation most of the time, and I insist to say most of the time so it's not all of the times we are not technically stuck we are not shamed it is in our mind, we cannot we cannot shift yet uh, because we need some more information that will help us to shift into another way of thinking about a situation or in general of perceive things differently but there is need of something more than what you know right now because and where you are at the moment if you feel stuck or something like that it's because you need something else so it's the moment to op to be open-minded to um and it's also, if you are very stuck, the universe may strike. <laughs> uh, for example, here we have the tower. The tower moment, if you can see, there is a thunder. Usually in tarot, the tower announces. Um, for some of you, it may have happened already, but the energies are past, present, future. So you see where you see yourself, what's um, aligned. Um, it could be something that happened a year ago or recently it could be happening right now you can feel a tower moment at the moment or you will it's not to be scared because when it happens it's the help from the universe or whatever you want to call it <laughs> to for you to be able to move forward because you're actually stuck the tower means that something is ending or it needs to be ended and if you do not change the way that you feel about life um, I know you may, for some of you, may be in depression but still the depression is uh, usually because we don't have enough of a purpose and you need to find the power to act also I was in, the, in chronic depression for all my life and I woke up and I find, uh, found sorry, the impulse, the energy even though I didn't think I had any and to shift everything and it, it did so I want you to keep hope uh, I'm talking to many people who are in depression or chronic depression feel very alone, lonely or helpless feel like this five of cups a loser, some of you feel you're a loser you're not a loser I understand you very well I was at your place for so long so if you do not uh, find a way to shift things on your own the universe will help you on strike and make something for you to so that you you have to move forward you have to change you have to shift it 
could be uh, an idea but usually it could be a situation that could end mm, you know it could, you could lose uh, I'm, i don't want to scare you out because that's not the way it works it's something that you can feel is happening you just refuse to see it but if there is something that you see it's, it, it shouldn't be there anymore little by little you want to yourself find something else change because the universe may do it for you um, no matter what always remember that is for your own good and that it will push you in the right direction and you will be so glad it did happen believe me you will be thankful for that so some of you universe may do something I'll give you some in impulse to do something <laughs> uh, out of a sudden that's what I'm saying it's out of a sudden the tower unexpectedly so whatever you feel depressed down without energy a victim or any emotions like that that we talked about we are saying to you that there is always enough and the nine of pentacles look show you that is the end of your misery nine is the number for the end the nine says that whatever happened and even until the tower moment that you may come across now or later this is what you're gonna get the nine of pentacles it's abundance look this card a happy card it's the end of your trouble the end of your lack and you have this um, bird here which is a guide it means that you are guided you'll be guided you receive the guidance you receive the idea you will you will um, know how to um, follow your intuition or your higher self you see how it's placed higher than her to show it's something higher and a force higher force higher self guidance idea whatever uh, shape or form will come to you it may bring about this tower moment and you will shift you will shift there's always enough it means that no matter how you feel no matter how you feel a lack not enough or not fairness you have something you want to look around you to see that you have you are not without anything it's just a way that you want to see your life um, and maybe your definition of happiness differently happiness is the little things that please us it doesn't have to be very complicated and sometimes when we feel lonely we are not completely alone it's, it's just because we need to find why we're here to follow our purpose that's why you can feel empty or lost or lonely or depressed so something is going to happen if it's not done already that will shift something for you it will uh, help you to get out of this five of cups energy and this um, isolation or loneliness or solitude feeling or lost or whatever is for you because it's a general reading so it cannot apply to everyone but you see which one of these kind of emotions uh, you can feel and you're going to feel more abundant in the future and you will have access to it and you will have proof of it but because first sorry you've got to feel already as if you have enough you have to feel content and happy with the little things so then it will bring about change 
in your energies so that you'll feel like this nine of pentacles you see the difference look at the difference between the five of cups and the nine of pentacles if you want to go from there to there it's up to you start by seeing and being happy even if you fake it until you make it <laughs> as we say and see how the little things this could be just something you like to eat or something small and little by little you're gonna get more proof out there that you've got plenty my dear pine number three i hope that you've appreciated your reading the video is not finished please go to the timestamps down below to go back to the end where there is this sleep ending uh, session to finish the video thank you so much it is time to sleep now so just follow my voice you will hear affirmations to help achieve your goals I hope that you will like them it is time Before we start, take a full deep breath for me, okay? Let's do that together. Breathe in. And out. And perceived as a failure is in fact an additional chance to do exactly what I wanted. Desires were invented to be followed. Responsible for my success. Be okay with failure. It allows us to become better humans by teaching us to question ourselves. Is stronger than the fear of failure. The latter 
is a story in which it is time to stop believing. To be happy despite the complications of life, choose to always obey your heart. To achieve something is not hard. The impression that you took the wrong direction is. Our intuition, this internal guidance system that we all have, if we listened to it with each decision, we would not be afraid to fail. It would be out of the question. Following our truth is not scary. On the contrary, it feels effortless and painless. It feels like a clarity. If the path is difficult, it is not the right one. If it is experienced with ease and flow, it is yours. The saying, no pain, no gain, is destructive. In life, to gain, you have to work out. So it means action must be taken, not that it should be hard. We can replace it with it. To accomplish something, you simply have to do it. And the more you enjoy it, the easier it feels. In other words, to succeed, take inspired action. screen is the perfect next video to finish off this for